This Office Mix is going to talk about what is new in the Dynamics AX user experience. For all of those people that are on CTP7, it will show you what you will get when you upgrade to CTP8, and ultimately what you will get when you upgrade to the February release of Dynamics AX. The dashboard is the default start page for the Dynamics AX application. As you can see, we have made a few changes to the Dynamics AX dashboard. We've changed the visual appearance of the workspace cards. In this example, I'm logged in as an HR professional and I see the eight workspaces for an HR professional. And we've went away from the images that we were using on the workspace cards and we've now gone to an icon. We now have the ability to hide, show, move, or rename these workspace cards that appear on your dashboard. And let me show you how you do that by right clicking and say personalize on any one of the cards. From here, you could rename it, hide it, skip it in the tab sequence, or in this case, I'm going to click personalize this form, which will bring open this toolbar. And from this toolbar, I can choose multiple options. In this case, I'm going to do is a move. So I'm going to select workforce management and I'm going to move it to be the first workspace card in my list. Since workspaces are designed to give you an overview of the work that you do, we've introduced a new feature that we're very excited about, which allows you to take content from a workspace and promote it up to your dashboard. So let me show you how you would do that. I'm going to drill into the workforce management workspace. And here you can see I have multiple tiles that allow me to keep track of the things related to my workforce management. So I'm going to take the recently hired workers tile, right click, personalize, and I now have this ability to say pin to the dashboard. So I'm going to pin that to the dashboard. I'm going to take work items assigned to me and pin that to the dashboard as well. And let me just take my open positions and pin that to the dashboard as well. And then I'm going to go navigate back to my dashboard. And you'll notice now that I see all of those as tiles underneath my workforce management. So if I want to go into workforce management, I can click back on this and drill back into workforce management workspace. Or if I want to jump directly to one of these lists, I could do that by clicking on that list directly. I can go right to the open positions list. So nice feature that's going to make our dashboards much more useful.